as a project manager in the initial planning phase of a new software development project, you are tasked with establishing the project baselines. You have the project scope defined and now need to develop the schedule and cost baselines. How should you approach this to ensure proper integration of these baselines? Okay, so I have a scope identified and stakeholders are asking me, can you give us a schedule baseline and cost baseline? What should I do as a project manager? Let's see the option. Option A, develop the schedule baseline first and then determine the cost baseline based solely on the schedule. So it is saying, why don't you break the, the scope into work breakdown structure, lead to the activities, identify the activities, sequence them, put the project schedule, take an approval on the project schedule, and then go for, we can say, okay, this is done. Let's look at a cost now. Yeah. Sometimes we learn uh, the, the project management that way in our classes as well, but that is not a great idea because when you are working on cost, you may end up changing your schedule. Something, sometimes you want to do things faster. You may do a lot of crashing when you are doing scheduling, but when you end up estimating the cost of those crashing, you may want to take a different opinion about it. So we learn like that, but it is not the way we do in our real uh, world. So option A, I flag it. It's not a good idea. I can't freeze the schedule before I look at the, the cost. Option B, create the cost baseline independently from the schedule to maintain strict control over the budget. When we talk about baseline, it is not focusing on directly taking rough order of magnitude estimate or a parametric estimate in general. And we don't have any clue coming clearly that you need to go in a parametric way. The question is clearly showing that scope is already there. So if there is a clue where it says, don't worry about the scheduling, just fix the budget and let the people figure it out inside that. Yeah, That's a possible in our agile way of working when we do a schedule, uh, the scope is pretty flexible there. But in general, the baselining is not a relevant topic when we focus on agile way of working, at least the cost and schedule baseline. We don't use those, those benchmark because there the life is done differently. So I can't say that we can create a cost baseline independent from a schedule and then say that this is what you have to follow it. So not a good idea uh, in this particular question. Simultaneously develop the schedule and cost baseline ensuring they are aligned with the defined project scope. Great idea. Yeah, now it's, it's not necessary that I'm working line by line simultaneously. It's something like I prepare a project schedule, I present that, I prepare a cost, associated cost with it, I present that. If there is some issue coming in, in a project schedule, I update that, I update the cost also, I present both of those things together. So we go through multiple iterations because say scheduling, resourcing and costing is interrelated and even risk management and other things are also very interrelated. So if I'm thinking about a mitigating some particular risk, I need to plan those activities, I need to plan those contingencies and, and time and money. So it is impacting us. If I'm trying to make some scheduling related fast tracking crashing decisions, they are also impacting my costing. If I am reworking on resource leveling, it is also impacting my costing. So these all things are developed iteratively. They work in the similarly at the same time you may work on these parameter. And once you have a agreement on all these parameters, you can say, okay, now we can baseline our schedule and, and cost. So option C looks good. We have to work or in these things in an iterative manner. Option D, prioritize the cost baseline as it is the most critical aspect and then adjust the schedule and scope accordingly. Not The question is not indicating that it's the most critical aspect. Yeah, And uh, uh, it is not showing that we have to go in a fixed, it's, it's more like a B. Yeah, B and D are more or less same, uh, just a different language where it is saying, let's fix the cost and let us figure out remaining things which might be an idea in some of our agile way of working, but the rest of the contact question is not showing that particular context. The, the, the question is talking about you have a scope identified and now you are moving towards scheduling and costing adherence yeah, rather than thinking that you need to go with the fixed capacity or fixed budget format and flexibly modify rest of it. So question is not giving me that context and that's why I'm taking a predictive approach here and I'm focusing on option C where I need to say, I will work on these two aspects simultaneously and come up with the, the idea of scheduling and costing. And I'm keeping it scope as a as a as an understood one and not a not a thing, something which can be negotiated all the time. So that's why the option C looks good here. Now in the real exam, yes, we can get sometimes such kind of questions where may the thinking in a predictive and adaptive may, may give a little different answer. 
there is a possibility then we may need to go revisit the question and take a clear clue that what might be the real context here yeah. rarely you will get such kind of situations where you have little bit conflict and then you need to take your educated guess based on the information available in the question so here the tricky was little bit yes the process is integrating project activities project baselining activities your project planning activities i keep telling in my classes that project management plan is like a book you may make the book in the different different section but you need to ensure that you integrate everything at the end and the whole book should look well integrated with each and other chapter of the book and that's what you create as an integrating project planning activities topic is basically project baseline and it's all about project integration management mm -hmm.